Well, just, just like about everyone, pregnant women have concerns about the coronavirus and wonder about their risk of becoming very ill. The World Health Organization has been looking into this, and with the available information, which is rather limited, it concluded that pregnant women do not appear to be at higher risk for coronavirus. Joining me now to talk more about this is Berkeley Fertility Dr. Omatma Shah. Uh, thank you, doctor, for being here. I I've heard some pregnant women express concern for both themselves and their babies. Talk a little bit uh, about their risk. Yes, you know, I haven't seen any studies to point that there is an increased risk for women who are pregnant. So I think for now we feel comfortable saying that pregnant women are safe and they should still take extra precautions to be careful to get sick in general, right? Uh, supporting our immune system is essential while we're pregnant and um, taking extra measures during this time is essential. Right. And what if a pregnant woman does get sick? What is the risk of passing the passing the virus on to their babies? We don't know yet. <laughs> so, so the information is just so limited right now. Yes, exactly. So we're not totally sure if this virus is cause, crossing the placental barrier into the baby's body. So um, you know, whatever we can do to protect ourselves for right now, I don't think there's a major cause for alarm or harm in general. Um, but as much as we can avoid and protect, that's the key right now. Mm -hmm. and, and what about those who are currently undergoing fertility treatments? That's a great question. So there has been a recommendation to stop all fertility treatment mm -hmm. present because of the kind of under or overwhelm of the medical system to take care of um, extra patients. So fertility treatments are recommended to be on pause, um, un at least until the immediate crisis has been averted. And, and doctor, uh, talk a little bit about the uh, effects of sort of stopping the treatments, especially if you may be a few weeks or a few months in. Yeah, a lot of women are struggling with this. Um, for women who are amidst hormonal treatment before implantation, uh, most doctors are recommending to pause. Um, and there is still some wiggle room with taking it case by case. I talked to a patient yesterday who I suggested continue on with her treatment because they're doing the implantation today. Um, so hopefully it's successful for her. And I think that overwhelmingly, if you're not in the middle of an active fertility treatment cycle, uh, to continue to consider postponing um, till we're out of this crisis mm -hmm. mode. Because it also becomes an uh, accessibility issue as well, right? With these shelter in place orders in effect and, and businesses shut down. Exactly, yeah. When you're in the midst of a fertility treatment, there's a lot of times that you need to go visit um, the doctor's office to get treatments, get shots, whatever it is. So um, it's ideal that considering all of the protective measures that are in place right now, um, it's optimal for people to just wait. And, and my recommendation isn't necessarily to put your fertility on pause. It's just to put active fertility cycles on pause. So there's still a lot women can be doing at home in the midst of their own shelter in place environment to support their fertility. Mm -hmm. So when they go back into fertility treatments in two, three, four months, they're actually well ahead of the curve and can have a successful cycle right out the gate. And that's obviously what we're hoping. Thank you so much, doctor. Appreciate your time. Yes, thanks for having me.